What's up folks, how's it going this watch? Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're gonna to be talking about headphones, specifically these set of cans that I've been using for almost six months now. This is the III TMA2. Now, if you don't know who III is, well, they're a boutique style headphone manufacturer based out of Denmark. What's really cool about these specific cans is they are fully modular to the point where you can actually swap out the individual drivers, headbands, cables, ear pads. You can even configure whether you want it to be Bluetooth or wired only. The Bluetooth wireless capabilities are actually built into the headbands themselves. And if you do get the Bluetooth option, you can actually stream aptX HD 24 bit audio straight into the headphones, giving you probably the best wireless listening experience that's available right now. Furthermore, the band also houses a three button control interface as well as USB type C for charging. And the battery life on the band is about 16 hours of playback time. The overall build quality, comfort, and ergonomics of the headphones are superb. They're very lightweight. They're using Alcantara ear caps specifically on this configuration, but you can easily choose from faux leather to microfiber, as well as over the ear or on ear ear caps. The headbands are also very customizable. You can get specific bands optimized for size, ergonomics, comfort, durability, as well as having either a wired or Bluetooth configuration, as we discussed before. Now, in terms of the actual audio quality of the headphones, that's going to really depend upon which specific driver configuration you go for. We have the detailed 40 millimeter driver over here. And the real key distinction that you have to make with each speaker configuration that you're going to choose is what material the speaker diaphragm is made out of. Now, the diaphragm material for the detailed version is made out of what they call biocellulose, which supposedly will deliver greater definition in higher end frequencies as well a more pronounced mid-range and a dynamics that sound a little bit more natural. In terms of impedance and frequency response, it is a 32 ohm speaker with a resonant frequency of about 80 hertz. And in terms of my listening experience, I would definitely say that the upper mid-range is very well defined. It's a great characteristic of these headphones. So vocals, singing, human speech is very well defined and it really highlights mid-range instruments such as saxophones and guitars very well. And specifically things Things like snare drums really pop out of the mix when you're listening to these headphones. Uh, plus, if you're going to use these things for music production, the overall response from 2000 hertz down is actually uh, fairly flat comparably to other commercial grade headphones. So you can definitely use them for recording and tracking purposes. However, like uh, most other headphones, if you're going to use this as a main recording or monitoring purpose solution for music production, I would definitely not recommend them. You probably want to get a good pair of reference studio monitors for that. Beyond that, as a day-to-day -day wireless over-the-ear set of cans, these are quite fantastic. I would put them right next to the Audio-Technica ATH M50X Bluetooth versions in terms of overall sound quality, wireless audio performance, but in terms of a comfort, ergonomics, and sheer customization, the III TMA2s kind of stand in a league of their own. If you want more details about the headphones or about anything we've talked about in this video, check out the description down below. Big thank you to all you guys for your viewership and support please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and we'll see you real soon in the next one take care